What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul here. And Aquarius, we're going to look at some energies here for you starting uh, February 20th and ending February 26th, 2023. Aquarius, I hope all is well. I'm using the Ghetto Tarot to deliver your energies here. No reversals. So let's get underway here to see what is potentially coming up for you guys this week. Energies for my fellow water bearers. As we had just recently moved out of, well, today will mark the last day of Aquarius energy. And I just wished a, a friend of mine whose birthday is today. Wished her a happy birthday. Okay. What's that? I know a lot. I have a lot of Aquarians in my family, and I know a lot of Aquarians. Hmm. Must draw each other near. All right, so that's a good enough shuffle, shuffle uh, Aquarius. I've been stumbling with my words here. <laughs> so just forgive me if I do stumble. Um, got this new setup here. I'm under these hot beaming ass lights. Um, so just bear with me. Anyway, the first card we're going to start off with is the Knight of Brooms. The Knight of Brooms is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is actually pretty good. Somebody could be coming through. Um you know, as a favor, it could be a family member, it could be a romantic partner, it could be a friend and a sister aid you this week. If not, it's still a card that would be, um, as I regard, as intermediate attraction. So you're building up some sort of energy towards attracting someone new or that energy is coming towards you from other people. Still sexual energy, sexual expression. But it also could uh, represent the rapidness of how fast new connections could be taken taking place. You know, it could be romantic, it could be platonic, and also I haven't been saying business, but it could also be business, you know. Following the uh, Knight of Brooms now, we have the Death card. All right, so there's an aspect of something that needs to come to a close. Only you know what it is, Aquarius. I don't. Now, ironically, it follows a relationship or the court card. So if for some of you, it could be that you're, you know, deciding to end a relationship. Maybe a relationship wasn't um, you know, working out for you. Now, it could be romantic. It could be a friendship. I don't ever see anyone, you know, sort of like ending family relationships. You can dis distance yourself from family, but you're never disconnecting from their family. Blood is blood. But when it comes to romance and friendships, you can do that easily. So it may be that, but if it's not that, with the death card that has been showing up here for most of the uh, videos that I have recorded so far, we're Entering March, March is usually uh, spring cleanup, right? So we usually get rid of stuff um, during, you know, March when it's uh, spring cleaning time. So maybe that's all that it is, just you having to get rid of uh, excess material things that are no longer useful for you. Death card never physically denotes death. It's just meaning that it's major trans, you know, transitioning and major transformation so there's something that has to come to a close in order for something to open up. And again, <clears throat> excuse me, again, only you know what that is, Aquarius, not me. Two of Pentacles is following that death card here, just juggling two things. Um, could be a small pay raise for some of you. Could be interested in two people, two people interested in you. Could be dating two people, right? Um, could be working two jobs, two of Pentacles, just a small imbalance in uh, type of energy, maybe just trying to balance out your uh, checkbook as well. Um, <clears throat> so I wouldn't worry about that energy too much. The emperor is up next. Damn, I think I'm losing my voice. The emperor is you. It's about you being in control here, um, Aquarius. All about control. All right. For some of you, there may be some um, aspects of having to deal with um, court systems, law. Uh, the character I always talk about could be connected to Aquarius. They're coming through who has crossed over on the other side. Maybe father figures who may have, you know, worked in law um, in enforcement or served time in the military. They're just here to acknowledge, okay? And um, what you need to get most out of this is that you're going to be in control of your, you know, your actions, uh, could be your thoughts and so forth. Following that is the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is, well, you're moving towards something positive, um, Aquarius, or something positive is moving towards you. The Three of Wands here mirrors the Knight of Brooms. So I feel that 
There could be some uh, Aquarians who are in communication with someone romantically at a distance because I always pick up uh, romantic distances with the three of uh, wands, okay? So, but whether or not you travel to go visit this person or this person comes to visit you, if you are, say, passes to, say, passes from, but I do feel that there's some sort of long distance and they do not have to be fire signs. They could be any sign. Regarding relationships, outside of that, you could be moving projects forward because this is usually the green light. This is the card that usually boosts the energy of things that may have been stagnant, whether it was a relationship uh, for you, Aquarius, or some sort of project that you may have been working on. <coughs> so now you have the boost of the Three of Wands to help out. Up next here, after that, we have the uh, hangman. So when it comes to, you know, actions and decisions and movements and stuff like that, the hangman is simply here saying that you have all the time in the world. There's no need to rush. Hanging in the balance, sitting on the fence, air suspension, all of that good stuff. But whatever it is that you don't have to rush through. Okay, just take your time. Then we have the, um, ooh, the nine of cups. Okay, so the Nine of Cups is the romantic card. Underneath that death card, okay, there's a new relationship for somebody. Maybe it's because you have to disconnect from something or someone romantically that wasn't working out for you, but this death card says somebody new is coming through. And look what we have underneath the death card, the Nine of Cups. Yes, answer to all romantic questions. Wish fulfillment. Maybe there's something that you're wishing for, praying for, hoping for. Well, that energy may be realized for you this week. I equate the Nine of Cups with that of the Star card. Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming uh, fulfilled and manifested. So maybe whatever it is that you're hoping for, wishing for, praying for, that energy is realized this week as well. So you have the Nine of Cups. It is not an even number of cups. However, it is just as equal to any equal number of cups. The energy that you are... Giving to others this week, Aquarius, is what the energy is going to bring back towards you, all right? Next is the, uh, okay, well, Five of Pentacles. And I like the varied energies that show up. So we have the Five of Pentacles, and you know, this is my ghosting card. So either you're ghosting someone or someone's ghosting you. Feeling left out in the cold, cold shoulder treatment, stubborn energy, May be worried or concerned over your money or your finances this week. It does sit underneath the two of pentacles. So it's just a five. And if it's something that you're dealing with, uh, just know that it's only temporary. It's not going to be something that sticks around too long because things change. It's a five if it does express itself at all. But yeah, you could be ghosting someone, someone ghosting you. It still could be the Aquarius, ironically, because it is the five of pentacles. Fives always indicate some sort of loss. But in this particular case, I always read this differently, that you still could be the Aquarius who donates your time and or money to worthy charitable causes. All right, so following that, we have the page of machetes. Again, the page shows up here. So this is the person where I always talk about. It's a new person that could be liking you. It could be the same person if they haven't revealed themselves to you uh, just yet. So new conversation, someone could be liking you. That could be a family member or a friend. They're checking you out, as I always say, um, Aquarius, possibly on social media, seeing what your interests are, seeing what you're about. I always pick up global network news with the page of machetes. First actions and first moves comes along with the um, page of machetes as well. And the final card that I have for you, Aquarius, before I lose my damn voice entirely, is the higher font, Major Arcana. This could be someone getting married. Cross mirrors over here to the Knight of Brooms. So that could be someone getting married. I'm talking to uh, Aquarians who, of course, are educators, could be, you know, uh, taking classes. It's a teaching and learning card. But the good thing about this, the seriously good thing about this is this week here, you have the aspect of being you know, spiritually watched over, spiritually protected, and also spiritually guided. So always trust what you feel in terms of your gut instincts or those voices that you hear. I always tell you guys, those are your own spiritual energies trying to grab your attention so that you're making the best choices um, and decisions moving forward. Um, so some of you could be experiencing um, spiritual epiphanies this week with the uh, higher font. 
uh, shows up. Some of you could be on the job training, doing some sort of on the job training. Could also be um, doing some spiritual work. Okay. Diving into some sort of spirituality or spiritual work. And that's the higher font, major arcana. In your shadow, you have the eight of wands, good communication. So whatever it is that you need to express this week will be well received. And whatever comes your way in, in the form of uh, communication by others will be well received by you. Always pick up a lot of texting. Also, the eight of wands gives me in flight. So you could be traveling again, work-related uh, energies. Could be vacationing. If you are, say passes to, say passes from. Um, good news is on its way, coming very rapidly for those who may have been on, you know, online shopping. Your partial package is on its way. You may be waiting for something important to arrive in the mail. So, yeah. Great communication. I see a lot of texting. I always feel a lot of texting with the um, Eight of Wands. Up next is the... Page of Pentacles, so someone could be offered a new job, start a new business. Well, usually the uh, Page of Pentacles is the... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I knew it. <coughs> Hold on, Aquarius. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> and I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, I'm not taking this down and starting over. Hell with that. I'm almost done. Page of Pentacles is the job offer. So I keep it real on this channel, right? Page of Pentacles is the job offer, the birth of the business. Ooh. Um, could be starting to save money. Could be starting to save money with the Page of Pentacles. Um, what else can I say about that? But it, ooh, ooh. Maybe I should have shut down. Anyway, the last card after the Page of Pentacles we got the Three of Swords. Okay, the Three of Swords is here, and we all know what the Three of Swords is about. It's about divorces, pending divorces, separation, heartache, grief. When the Three of Swords shows up here, now, even though you have some very positive energies here in your spread, I always tell you these are no one's personal reading, so it's not going to hit everybody. You only take what's necessary for you and leave the rest alone. But whenever the Three of Swords or the Nine of Swords and the tower shows up is here for somebody who comes along and sees the video, point blank. There's no getting around it, all right? So, pet loss, dog gets away, doesn't physically denote death, but, you know, the family is left grieving. Could be, you know, couples who are still together, but there's some sort of distance that separates you. Uh, that could be bringing on the heartache and the grief. Third party in play when it comes to romantic relationships. It could be family conflict. Uh, conflict with friends, also having to make three painful choices or decisions. That is the three of swords. Okay, so uh, I think I completed this video here. Aquarius, you were the last sign for me to do. I have to take care of my voice um, because I'm losing it. Okay, so but anyway, take what's necessary from this reading for yourself. Leave the rest alone. But have a great week ahead. You do have some potential energy Great energy to open up for you. Don't focus too much on the Three of Swords. It's here for somebody. But anyway, keep smiling for me, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.